Yo. You see this shit? Focus, damn it. There you go. Fucking homemade a Ouija board. Yeah, it's not even. Yes, no. All letters, all numbers, except for a zero. Fucking dumbasses. Afraid to touch it. I'm gonna do it. That's fucking piece of cardboard. Homemade Ouija board. Right here out in the park. Yo, I know you can't see it, but like right there, that's the playground. There's like slides and swings and shit over there, and over there, and then some creepy ass little kids decide to do this shit. No sign of like a planchette or candles or literally anything except for the board. Looking creepy. Like I was just going out on a walk and I, I come to the park all the time so I know that this wasn't left here like days ago or even last night like this was left here today and someone's either going to throw it away or these creepy ass kids that think they scary are gonna come out here and they're gonna get this thing and you take it home. It's already covered in dew. It's all sparkly. You know what? Instead of waiting on someone to come pick this trash up, I'm taking it. Came across it earlier. I thought about taking it home. I don't want that shit in my house. So, now you can't see it, but there's a trash can right there, and there. Fuck those kids. Fuck their homemade Ouija board. They probably abandoned it because they knew it wouldn't work because their spelling is terrible. And... I would expect them to do this in like October, but it's fucking April. I wonder where those kids learned what a Ouija board is. Like, I know that's a thing that they talk about in, like, schools or whatever. Like, on the playground. But where are they getting the knowledge of what that is? Like, who the fuck is letting their kids watch horror movies? Or leave them unsupervised on YouTube? So they can watch all these stupid YouTube videos. Of people trying their homemade Ouija boards. Like, that shit don't work. You make it yourself, it doesn't work. Those videos are fake. If you really wanted it to work, you really wanted to creep me out. So if you got a real one, It's not the board itself that's creepy. It's a planchette. Because if you look through the little magnifying glass thing on the planchette, you can supposedly see the demon that you're talking to. And then 
it's supposed to kill you. But homemade homemade shit don't work. It's stupid. I don't know why they tried it. And honestly, the fuck? Yo. Talking about demons, and I walk past this thing and I hear a little thump. Wasn't even near it, so I didn't touch it. And now it's highlight. Okay, uh, not sure what to believe, but anyways, I hope these kids come back and they're looking for their homemade Ouija board that they left here and they can't find it and they freak out and realize that someone took it. I'm really hoping that they find it in the trash can and realize that what they're doing is trash. And they shouldn't be trying this. Like, what is it with kids and trying to summon demons? Like, are you trying to get killed? Like, I know kids are always talking about how they want to kill themselves or whatever, but when it comes down to it, they're not actually suicidal. And this is coming from a person who has experience with actual suicidal thoughts and even attempts. Like, I have self-harmed a lot. Jesus Christ, fucking birds. But, like, I've self-harmed, and I have contemplated suicide a lot. There have been times when I have legitimately wanted to die. And I don't appreciate these kids pretending that, saying that they want to die, or that they have suicidal thoughts. I think it's funny. What the fuck is that? Is that? I'm going to assume that that's just a bunch of birds getting all creepy, and I'm gonna go home. I'm starting to think that maybe these kids actually did summon a demon. What the fuck? Okay, that flapping around. Okay, I'm leaving. That really is a demon or an angel or something. I get it. I'm going home. a lot of flapping. I can't see anything. But there's like... Okay. I'm out. I'm gone. I'm going home. I don't think I will ever go to the park at night again. Especially not around midnight. Probably better that I wasn't out here at 3 a.m. Because that would have been really creepy. Because, you know, demon hour. 
or witch's hour, or whatever. But, uh, okay, I am officially kind of freaked out. Hoping that's just like a bunch of owls or something. Uh, some kind of bird. It was definitely some kind of bird because I was hearing chirping. Yo! What the hell? Can't see anything. It's so dark. I know I'm acting all hard, but I'm actually scared as shit. Where a lot when I'm scared or mad. At first, I was kind of pissed about the Ouija board. I was just out there walking and I saw this thing and I was like, it looks like someone's homework or something. So I went to go look at it and I saw the word Ouija and all these numbers and letters. I was like, shit, that's a Ouija board. And then I realized that it's a homemade Ouija board that some illiterate little kid wrote you're trying to be scary or trying to be funny or something then I throw it away and I start here and and I'm like I throw it away and I'm laughing and I'm like these dumbass kids and then I start hearing like all this flapping in the trees and I can't see anything. And I'm hoping that it's like some kind of birds and they're like mating or something. But, well, cause why else would birds be flapping that much? They're not trying to get some birdie tail. Why are they flapping so much? Why are they freaking out? Now that I realize it, I have been to that park so many times in the middle of the night and at like 3 a.m. with headphones on and I just like walk through it or run through it or whatever with my headphones on and I don't hear things and that's like the first time that I've been out there without headphones. And then I was hearing the flapping so I'm starting to wonder if that flapping has been going on and I never knew it because I had headphones in. Ugh. Dude, I'm tired. I'm tired and I'm scared. I want to go to sleep. But now I'm kind of freaked out. I really hope that there wasn't some like invisible demon or something. Maybe I'm afraid of angels at this point. It's not because of the bendy and the ink machine, but like. You know, because Ellis Angel, but um, he don't have wings. And I've recently discovered that angels can be bad. Like, and my favorite, or one of my favorite animes, um, Black Butler, there's this angel named Angela, or Ash, because she's an angel, she goes back and forth between male and female, and she is the angel of massacre, and she is fucking scary. She's beautiful, but she's scary, and she's got these big ass wings, and I really hope that that wasn't, uh, like a real life version of her coming after me. Okay, I'm gonna go home now.